So now I'm sure the fans from Taft Avenue, you want to hear from your championship heroes. Our very own Diego Dario is with your MVP and finals MVP, Kevin Campbell. Diego? We are here with the UAAP MVP, finals MVP, and the UAAP champion. KQ, first of all, congratulations, brother. Thank you, thank you. Take us through the final series. Na to. They held you to 10 points per game, game one and game two, and you just took over it on game three, 24 points. What was your mindset in this ball game? Uh, yung sinasabi nga lagi ni Coach Topek sa amin na wala nang bukas. Uh, isipin mo na yung procession nito, parang ano, isang parang gold. Gold lahat ng procession. So, ayun, tinabaho lang namin for me as a, ayun nga, one of, real, one of the real, reliable dito sa team. Uh, kailangan ko mag-step up in the way that I can. Off-ball man o no? on-ball. Uh, so, ayun, ginawa ko lang yung trabaho ko. Eh, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord at sa lahat ng Lasalle community na nanood dito. Such a great leader. And then no fourth quarter, you just took over. Ten points and then that crucial block. Kwento mo naman sa amin, ano yung nangyari doon? Ano yung mga iniisip mo nung moments na yun? Last few seconds and then you sealed the victory for La Salle. Uh, I think yung instinct lang na lamang kami and then kailangan ko lang maging ano, kailangan ko lang maging trusted sa mga teammates ko. Nagkamali ako ng turnover ko. Pero ayun, bumawi ka agad ako and good thing naman, nakuha namin yung championship and eh. And yes, sir. And of course, congrats once again. Pero sa lahat ng nanunood, especially yung mga nai-inspire sa'yo, KQ, sa ginawa mo this season, anong masasabi mo sa mga ibang bata, of course, na gustong maging tulad isang KQ, na grabe yung hard work mo, hindi nakikita ng lahat ng tao na to kung gano'n ka kasipag, anong ginagawa mo to be at this level sa UAAP KQ? Uh, Unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord na binigyan na ako ng lakas sa everyday and ginawa ko lang yung trabaho ko and sumusunod lang ako sa kung anong meron nasa harap ko and then, ayun lang, be humble lang and be grounded all the times. Thank you po. And lastly, KQ, message mo sa Lasal community na grabe yung supporta sa'yo. Uh, first of all, sa La Lasal community, sobrang thank you po na simula ng first round, nadyan kayo para sa amin, manalo-matalo and Ayun, asahan niyo po. One more year. Yeah! Congratulations once again, KQ. Congrats, brother. And we turn it over to Patrice Dabao. Polly, congratulations sa pagpanalo niyo. Ano ang pakiramdam na malaki ang contribution mo sa championship niyo bilang rookie pa lang? Uh, Coach Topex and mga coaches uh, told me, uh, sabi nila, sabi nila sa akin, stay ready lang ako. Uh, yun, ginawa ko yung trabaho. Polly, ano ang epekto ng energy ng buong Coliseum at yung intensity ng competition? Uh, sobrang saya, lalo na kapag sa Lasal ka. And sobrang sarap maglaro sa Lasal. Sinabi mo sa akin at the start of the season that the team's theme song is We Are The Champions. So, at what point sa game na naram, naramdaman mo na kayo ang magiging champions? Uh, sobrang blessed kami lahat kasi nakuha namin yung champion, yung pinaghirapan namin, yung lahat ng dinarbaho namin. Uh, ito, ito yung bunga. Okay, so sa buong Lasalle community, sino ang gusto mong batiin? Una, maraming salamat sa Lasalle community. And bina binabati ko yung family ko, Polycarpe family, Melo family, Eminence's family, and Bustos family. And yung mga kaibigan ko, and mga girlfriend ko, na nanonood, mapinsan ko, mga kaibigan ko. Thank you, Polly. That's all for me and Polly. Now back to you, Diego. And we're here with the champion coach, Coach Topex Robinson of the Green Archers. Coach, you lost the first game by 30 and then bounce back game two and game three. What did you tell your players to motivate them and eventually get this victory and the championship for La Salle? Well, uh, losing game one by 30 was really challenging for us. But I just told them, you know, we need each other. You know, uh, we've gone this far and we cannot just give up. You know, uh, we have so much, you know, moments to enjoy, especially for the guys that are on their final year. So. I'm just so grateful that they responded to the challenge. And Coach Topex, you built a culture here in La Salle centered around love, serving, and caring for one another. Can you tell us what that means for you and your team and, of course, for the whole La Salle community and then winning this whole championship 
going through all the struggles, Coach? Wow, it's it's really a, a, a feeling of, of, you know, building that trust, you know, within the team when I came in. Came in. You know, they just embraced me with so much, uh, you know, joy and, and uh, enthusiasm. And, you know, actually, I, I was embraced by the La Salle, by the La Salle, uh, you know, values, which is faith, service, and communion. And coach, um, you even embrace the La Salle community as well. You study, you studying in La Salle during this, even during the season. And coach, of course, uh, La Salle community na grabe yung support sa inyo. Your message to them, coach. Well, again, I, I'm so grateful and, and blessed to be part of a history of uh, champions in DLSU, and I'm just so happy that now I'm a part of it. You know, uh, kagaya na sinasabi ni Ren Ren, ang sarap maging lasalista. And once again, Coach, congratulations. You deserve all the celebration, Coach. Thank you. My brother. And we have here with us the senior point guard of the Green Archers, Evan Nelly, a champion leaving the UAP. Bro, can you tell us what you've gone through with this LaSalle team that you've had all the struggles and then winning this championship in your last year? Um, my last year was like the best year of my life. I think Coach T, the coaching staff, my teammates, they made it fun for me again. So this was one hell of a journey. Um, it, it, I wouldn't trade this for the world. And talk about your teammates and what you've gone through here, Dito so finals. You've struggled offensively when scoring that basketball, but you've done so many different things to impact winning for La Salle. What did you do? What was your mindset in this series? Uh, I was playing really bad, but all I wanted to do was win. So, man, whatever, whatever it takes. That's what coach would say, whatever it takes. Just win. So, and that's what I did. <laughs> and of course, Evanelli, before I let you go, your message to the LaSalle community who has been there through the ups and downs of your LaSalle career. Hey, LaSalle community. We're champs again, guys. Thank you. I love you. Uh, thanks for taking me in. Congrats, Evan. And we turn it over to Patrice Dabao once again. Congratulations, Mike, on finally winning the championship. How does it feel to be able to bid farewell to the graduating students, your brother Ben Phillips included, with the send-off they deserve? Oh, man, it's surreal. I give all glory to God forever to give us this. The best step that we could do for our seniors, they, they put this in work. They, they're the ones we're fighting for. So I'm so grateful to God we could do this for them. Mike, you mentioned to me before that your dad used helping you bounce back from setbacks like your injury and losses throughout the season and win you this championship. Everything we do, every single thing we do in practice, the game preparation, it's all from God. I, I, they give me the strength. I get all our energy from God. And so I give everything I can to him, that my king of kings, Lord up high. That's right. So reflecting on your journey, how has your role within the team evolved from your early seasons to this year? And how did it contribute to the championship victory? Man, the good thing about this team, we're all brothers here. And so I try to be the clear to the team and, and be like with Evan and, and Captain Ben. And so I just love being around these guys. I love this team. I love the locker room. I love Coach Topex. Like so our entire support of the team who like to greet. I want to greet every student who stood out in line since 12 minutes a.m. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. just to come here and support this. We share the same blood. This win is for you. Welcome back to the UAAP Season 86 awarding and we are here at the Big Dome with UAAP champion Mark Nonoy. Mark, first of all, congratulations. Grabe yung performance mo this season and of course dito sa championship. Kwento mo naman sa amin yung mga pinagdaanan mo, ups and downs dito sa LaSalle career mo, and then ngayon, champion ka na. Uh, first, uh, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord na binigyan ako ng uh, talent na ganito, and then uh, sobrang thankful ako sa, sa LaSalle, uh, as in bubble, lahat-lahat na, na ranasan namin ng hirap, lahat ng sakripisyo namin, uh, ito na ngayon yung bunga ng sakripisyo namin ngayon. Uh, para, la, para sa lahat ng tao na no, sumusuporta sa amin at di kami iniwan kahit, sobra, kahit sa dalawang season namin na uh, di kami nakapasok Final Four and then short kami, daming uh, nangyari sa team namin. Pero uh, 
papasalamat ako kay Lord kasi binigay niya, binigay niya pa ako ng isang pagkakataon na pakita sa buong fans ng Lasal na kung anong merong talent ako and then uh, sobrang salamat kasi binigay niya sa amin yung championship at sobrang blessed talaga. Grabe yung effort at yung laban nyo uh, ngayong season na to Mark. Pero kwento mo rin sa amin yung relationship mo with of course Coach Topex. Nung breakout game mo, grabe yung yakap niya sa isa't isa. Ito na nag-champion kayo, grabe rin yung yakap niya sa isa't isa. Grabe sa magbigay ng kumpiyansa sa'yo. Anong masasabi mo dun? Uh, first, uh, kay Coach Topex, bagong dating niya pa lang. Uh, binigay niya na sa amin yung parang binigyan niya kami ng responsibility bilang seniors. And then, uh, yung tiwala na binibigay niya sa amin, uh, kahit nung first round, yun nga, nagsastruggle pa ako. Pero uh, nung second round, binigyan niya ako ulit ng chance na to prove kung anong meron ako. So, uh, ayun, nagbunga la uh, worth it lahat. And then, naku nabalik ko ulit yung confidence ko. Uh, hanggang kung nakaabot kami ng championship, hanggang nakuha po namin to. So, sobrang salamat ako kay Topics. Ibang-iba talaga pag may naniniwala sa'yo, grabe magbigay ng kumpiyansa and grabe yung paniniwala ng Lasal community sa'yo, Mark. Your message to them. Uh, sobrang salamat sa lahat ng sumuporta sa amin. Uh, Nandiyan kayo sa hirap, uh, sa hirap at sakripisyo namin. Di nyo kami iniwan na uh, para sa inyo to. Animo, Lasal! Mark, congrats once again. UAP champion, Mark Nonoy. And we turn it over to Tito Miko Halili.